Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So recently I've been toying with my OBS settings, trying to adjust the CPU usage using the software encoder. None of the settings I used gave me good enough performance, so I resolved to try to use NVENC encoding instead. Let's see how to do that. What is NVENC? So NVENC has been created by NVIDIA, so if you have something else than one of their cards, it won't work. NVENC is a piece of software that offloads some encoding tasks to the GPU instead of the CPU, which should result in less CPU consumption, duh, as well as better performance while recording and smoother frame rates. In my tests on Linux, using OBS with the default hardware encoding used up to 35% of my CPU and sent frame rates plunging down while recording games, as well as not being able to guarantee a smooth 60fps in the recording itself. With NVENC, I got around 10% of CPU usage while recording in OBS, and performance was improved immensely in the games I recorded, such as The Witcher running on Wine or Half-Life 2 native on Linux. How do you install that? Well, it's no easy task. It's not complex, but it's long. There is no package you can download to enable that, since NVENC needs some specific NVIDIA blobs to be enabled, as well as the compilation of FFmpeg, which is a library to encode and record video. We'll need to use a terminal for this, as well as a text editor. It's still simple if you follow the next steps, you just need some patience. Getting the NVIDIA blobs. The first step is getting the NVIDIA SDK you'll need to compile FFmpeg. Open your trusty terminal and type wget https colon slash slash developer dot nvidia dot com slash video dash sdk dash 601. This will download the NVIDIA developer SDK. Then type sudo apt install unzip to install the unzip program which will allow for decompressing the file we just downloaded. Once it's done, type unzip video dash sdk dash 601. This will extract the contents of the file. Now we just need to move the developer headers from the NVIDIA SDK so that FFmpeg will be able to find them while we compile it. Type this command now. And we're done for this part. Preparing to compile FFmpeg. First, we need to make sure that the source code is available from your repositories. You'll need to edit the source.list file that contains all your repositories. In the terminal, type sudo cp slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list, then space, slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list dot backup. This will make a backup copy of this file in case you mess up. Then type sudo nano slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list. This will open the file in the terminal. Then find all lines that start with deb src and uncommand them. This means removing the hashtag symbol in front of them. Once you're done, press Ctrl plus O to save and Ctrl plus X to exit the editor. Then type sudo apt update to refresh the repositories. If you edited the file correctly, everything should run fine. If not, you can restore your backup copy with this command sudo cp slash etc slash apt slash sources dot lists dot backup space slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list. And then you can try again. Just remember you need to remove the hashtag symbols and the space that comes before the dev word. Now we need to download all the packages we need to compile FFmpeg. We'll just type sudo apt-get install builds-dep ffmpeg. This will get all the packages needed to build FFmpeg. Then we'll finally need to install a specific library's development headers by typing sudo apt install libfdk dash aac dash dev. And we're all set. Compiling FFmpeg. Now comes the long part. We need to get the FFmpeg source code and compile it to include support for NVENC. So first, we'll download the source code with the command apt dash get source FFmpeg. This will create a folder in your home directory that's called FFmpeg dash a version number. This version number depends on your distro and the version of FFmpeg that ships with it. Then we'll need to move into the directory of said source code with cd ffmpeg dash the version number. If you don't know the exact version number or if you don't want to look, you can just type cd ffmpeg dash and then press tab twice to autocomplete. We then need to find the way this version of ffmpeg has been built so that we can make sure not to break anything and respect what was used to build it. So we'll just type ffmpeg build conf. This will give you a long line of parameters. 
You need to copy all of these and paste it in a text editor such as Scratch on Elementary OS or Gedit on GNOME-based distributions. We need to add the required parameters at the end of this text to make sure that FFmpeg will take NVENC into account. So at the end of the line, add a space, then add these lines. Dash dash enable dash non free, space, dash dash enable dash NVENC, space, dash dash enable dash libfdk dash aac. Don't forget to leave a space between each parameter and between the last parameter of the lines you copied and the ones we just added, or it won't work. Then, select everything you have in your text file and copy it. In your terminal, type dot slash configure, then type a space and paste everything you just copied. You should have something that looks like that. A long line of parameters with spaces between each of the dash dash enable parameters. Then you just press enter to launch the configuration. Everything should be okay. If it doesn't, it should tell you about a specific library that you're missing. Uh, if you're missing a specific library, tr try to install it, just Google it. Uh, mostly all of them should be readily available or tutorials or installing helps should be available on the internet. Once the configuration is done, we need to build FFmpeg by typing the make command. Make, M-A-K-E. This will take a while depending on your hardware and probably spit out a few warnings. As long as you don't get an error saying something aborted or failed, it should be okay. If you get an error about a specific library missing, then again try to google how to install it on your system, then try again from the make command, but if everything went alright in configure, it should work pretty well in the make stage as well. So when the building is done, we need to install the compiled ffmpeg, so we'll type sudo make install. This should go pretty quickly and every compiled file will be installed in its right place and you should be all set. Selecting nvenc in OBS. Now comes the easier spot. You just open OBS, assuming you have installed it, open OBS and go to the settings. In the output tab, you should have your recording option set to software, x264, in the encoder field. Just click here and you should have the option to select nvenc instead. If not, then it means something didn't work in the compilation sequence. You need to try again and look for errors in the terminal. I can't cover every case here, because there are a lot of things that could go wrong while compiling this, uh, this program, but Google should be very helpful in finding how to deal with these errors. You can also use the nvenc in the encoder field for streaming as well. And there it is guys, enjoy smooth recording! I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one! Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.